what makes us good or bad. Gospel readings and reflections. 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. First reading. And now, O Israel, give heed to the statutes and the ordinances which I teach you, and do them, that you may live, and go in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, gives you. You shall not add to the word which I command you, nor take from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Keep them and do them, for that will be your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the peoples, who, when they hear all these statutes, will say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what great nation is there that has a God so near to it as the Lord our God is to us, whenever we call upon him? And what great nation is there that has statutes and ordinances so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Second reading. Every good endowment and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Therefore put away all filthiness and rank growth of wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained from the world. Gospel reading. Now when the Pharisees gathered together to him with some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem, they saw that some of his disciples ate with hands defiled, that is, unwashed. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they wash their hands, observing the tradition of the elders. And when they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they purify themselves. And there are many other traditions which they observe, the washing of cups and pots and vessels of bronze. And the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with hands defiled? And he said to them, Well, did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites, as it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the precepts of men. You leave the commandment of God and hold fast the tradition of men. And he called the people to him again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand, there is nothing outside a man which by going into him can defile him, but the things which come out of a man are what defile him. For from within, out of the heart of man, come evil thoughts, fornication, theft, murder, adultery, coveting, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a man. Reflections. Our worship of God should not consist only of external things. What good are our rituals, tradition, and acts of piety if we neglect the more important things, such as the love of God and of our neighbor? We must not be like the hypocrites who are content to make an outward display of their faith, only to be praised and for other people to see. The one we should please is God, and God sees what's within our hearts. It is from within that the fruits of our faith can later on be seen. What will come out of our mouths? What good deeds are we going to do? Do we say that we are religious but fail to control our tongue? Bad words don't help us become good. They defile us and even become a source of temptation for other people who hear it. Do we preach about mercy, but fail to forgive those who sin against us? Hereather, let us practice what we preach and let the world know that we believe from the depths of our hearts and souls.